guys welcome back to single girl budgets today we are doing our debt update for march 2020 and honestly you guys i'm not gonna lie to you it wasn't that exciting i didn't pay anything off i didn't pay any extra but i'm still making progress also i picked up these super huge paper clips from tuesday morning and i am loving them and i am using them to mark where I am in all of my little books. So here is our March budget, but we are gonna flip to the back where our debt tracker is. I'm gonna pull this out. I feel like that's gonna bug me. We'll just push it up there. Okay, so for Best Buy for three, four, we paid $30. And then this is a 0% interest card until October, August. One or the other, I'll double check, but um, no interest. So I know that this balance definitely went down by $30. So that puts me at $4.47. Woohoo! We're getting there slowly but surely. Uh, also, my car, so that would have been, came out on $3.9. I pay $3.55, which is a little over the minimum. Basically, I round the minimum up to the next $5. That puts my balance at $9,018.94. I'm so close to being under $9,000. So close. And I did the math. I haven't been tracking it anywhere. But I did do the math. And you guys, I lost $26.66 to interest. So we're still right around. This is just under, we're getting to the point where we are just under a dollar a day that I'm paying the bank so that I can have my car. I don't even, I mean, I own it, but like the bank technically owns it. So we're getting there slowly, hopefully this year or next. But this is the more exciting part. I'm gonna have to move this again because it's in the way. I love visual trackers. I do have a video uh, that you guys can watch. I'll try to link it up here in like the little eye in the sky thingy majabber. Eye card, I think it's what's called. I love visual trackers. I love to see this filled in. Like that one is filled in, which definitely gives me a lot of motivation. I'm thinking I want to use blue. I don't know why, but blue's calling to me this time. This is just a paper mate flare. I love them for something like this. And then, so with Best Buy, we made one payment. Unfortunately, that means I only get to color in one square. Like I'm ready to get moving on this just so I can color in like multiple. Like I just wanna pay, I just wanna color in multiple squares. Because with this, each square is only $25. So I only paid 30, like, yeah. With my car loan, I do actually get to cover in three. And the bad thing about that is I am legit $18 away from doing a fourth. Like, come on, because I will not. I will not color in a square until it is fully, like I am paid to that point. I need to get, I should probably use a different like marker for this. Because these just take like, they're such a fine tip. They take forever. But I know you guys are like right there with me, rooting me on. Also this paper, not the best sticker paper to use for coloring. <laughs> but that is where we stand right now, guys. So nothing really exciting, but we're making progress, right? Like Mary from Penny's Not Perfection says, progress, not perfection. So... I'm definitely making progress, definitely not perfect, but we're getting there. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this update. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button so that you can become part of this little fam that we got going on in this corner of the internet. Hit the bell so you don't miss a single upload, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.